So welcome to my Clit Math YouTube channel where I'm devoted in building STEM to tolerance for the fear of mathematics. In this video, I'll be walking you through the problems in chapter 4 of the introduction to Kyclos textbook. You'll learn how to differentiate combinations of different kinds of functions using the techniques of differentiation. You see, you don't just learn by watching, you need to get your pen and paper and walk along with me. Now before I go ahead, help us to share this video to your class group chats. There are a lot of students out there that this is exactly what they just need for them to pass this course. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that. So, without further ado, let's head over to our video for today. In this question, it says find the derivative of the function 3x raised to the power 5 minus x squared minus 2 multiplied by x plus 4. Okay? So, for us to do this, we say let y be equals to 3x raised to the power 5 minus open bracket x squared minus 2 close bracket open bracket x plus 4 okay then since we are asked to find the derivative of this function with respect to x though that means we are going to have our dy dx okay to be equals to d dx of what we have here which is what 3x raised to power 5 minus x squared minus 2 multiplied by x plus 4 okay so now since you remember that the differentiation itself satisfies the linearity property. That is, if you have d dx of the addition of two functions, that means we are going to have d dx of your f plus d dx of your what of your g. Okay, that is, you can separate those two functions. All right. It's also true for when you have negative or subtraction. So that means here we are going to have this to be d dx of 3x raised to the power 5 minus d dx of x squared minus 2 multiplied by x plus x plus 4. Okay? Now, you also recall that if you have, that is, we can actually use our power rule to differentiate this. That is, if you have d dx of x raised to the power n, this will give us n times x raised to the power n minus 1. Alright? So, if we apply that principle here, so that means we are going to have this to be 3 multiplied by 5 will give us 15. Then if you subtract 5, 1 minus 5 minus 1 will give us 4. So that means we have this to be 15x raised to the power 4. Minus here, we have two functions of x. That's x squared minus 4 multiplied by x plus 4. Now you recall something called the product rule. That is, if you have two functions that are function of x okay let's say we have u to be function of x and also v to be function of x okay so if i want to differentiate the product of this function this will give me u multiplied by the derivative of v with respect to x then plus v multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x here i'm saying that my v prime is the derivative of v with respect to x now if i say if i let my x square minus 2 be to be equals to u and my x plus 4 to be equals to v. That means that I'm going to have this to be what u, which is x squared minus 2, multiplied by the derivative of v with respect to x, then plus my v itself, which is what x plus 4, multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to what? With respect to x. Now here, if I simplify it, I'm going to have 15x raised to the power 4 minus x squared minus 2 multiplied by, if I differentiate x plus 4 with respect to s, it will just give me 1. Then plus x plus 4 multiplied by, if I differentiate x squared minus 2 with respect to s, that will give me 2x using your power rule. Okay? Now, that is that. So if I simplify this, that means I'm going to have 15x raised to the power 4 minus here i'm going to have x squared minus 2 then if i multiply this out i'm going to have 2x raised to the power 2 plus 8 8x and if i simplify it further i'm going to have 15x raised to the power 4 minus x squared plus 2x squared will give us 3x squared then here i have plus 8x minus 2 and that means i'm going to have 15x raised to the power 4 minus 3x squared minus 8x 
plus what plus two, which is my final final answer. All right, so let's move on to the next question. In this question, we are asked to find the derivative of x raised to the power four cos three x with respect to x. Okay, so here we say let y be equal to what x raised to the power four cos three x. So that means that our dy dx would be what d dx of x raised to the power four cos cos three x. Okay, and here we have something of this form. Here we have our u to be what x raised to power x raised to the power four, and we have our v to be what cos three x. Okay. Now, if you apply your product rule here, so that means what we are we, what are we going to have? We are going to have this to be what? So here's our product rule, okay? So that means we are going to have this to be. So if we call this our u and we call this our v, so that means we have v u that's x raised to power four dv dx d, d, dv dx. So our v here is what? Cos three x with respect to x, then plus what? Plus v that's cos 3x multiplied by the derivative of u that's x raised to power 4 with respect to what with respect to x okay so that means we have that result so here that means here we are going to have this to be x raised to power 4 multiplied by if you differentiate cos 3x if you differentiate now since this one is having 3 yeah. so you recall that anytime you want to differentiate cos ax okay derivative of cos ax itself is what negative a sine ax okay this is from your elementary differenti differentiation all right so here if you apply that principle here so that means we are going to have this to be minus 3 sine sine 3x you can easily verify this using chain rule okay then plus cos 3x then multiply by if you differentiate x raised to power 4 that means we are going to have this to be what 4 x raised to power 3 using your power your power rule and if we simplify this so that means we are going to have this to be what minus 3 x raised to power 4 sine 3x then plus 4 x raised to power 3 cos what cos 3 cos 3x which is our which is our final final answer so let's move on to the next question in this question we are asked to find the derivative of cot 2x plus 3 raised to power 3 okay so here we can write our we can write this as what cot 2x plus 3 everything raised to power what everything raised to power 3 and for us to find the derivative of this function, we apply what we call the chain rule. Here we say let our what our u be equals to what's inside here. So that means we have this to be what's cut 2x plus 3. So that means that what our y is what u raised to power 3. Not only that, you observe that what that your u is also a function of x. So that means here we can also apply chain rule. To solve this, what to find the derivative of u with respect to x? That is, we say let our v be equal to what? Let our v to be equal to two x plus three. So that means our u will be equal to cot what? Cot v. Okay. So that means your dy dx itself, according to chain rule, is what dy du because I'm taking my function here with respect to u okay then multiply by what du dx your du dv because i'm already replacing the argument of of u here with v multiply by what multiply by v the derivative of v with respect to x okay so this is the chain rule now if what is the derivative of y with respect to u the derivative of y with respect to u is what if you differentiate y with respect to u here, we are going to have this to be what 3u, 3u square, okay? And if you differentiate u with respect to v, so what is your u with respect to v? If you differentiate your u with respect to v, so what are we going to have? Differentiate cot v. That means we are going to have this to be what minus cosec, cosec square. 
minus cos x squared v okay and lastly if you differentiate v okay with respect to x so that means i'm going to have my derivative of v with respect to s will give me what just just two so if we apply the chain rule that means that what our dy dx itself is what is dy du which is 3 u square multiplied by dv dv du dv which is what minus cosec square v okay then multiply by dv dx which is what 2 so that means this is going to give us what minus 6 u square cosec square cosec square v and if you replace all what you substitute back into this function since your question is not in form of u and v it is it is with respect to x it's a function of x so that means we need to substitute back the value for u and v so and if we do that so that means we are going to have this to be what minus 6 u square so what's our u our u itself is what's cut 2x plus 3 so that means here we have cut square cut square 2x plus 3 then multiply by cos x square v so which is what cos x square well, so what's our v our v here is what 2x plus 3 which is our final answer our final answer all right i hope you guys understand so let's move on to the next question here we have our y to be equal to ln 3x plus 2 multiplied by ln ln x for us to find the derivative we apply the product rule since we have the product of two functions even though they are the same type of functions or the same classes of functions so we have d dx of this of ln 3x plus 2 multiplied by ln ln x okay now here we have if you apply the product rule if you have been following me you will understand you remember the product rule so here we call this to be our u and we let this be our v and according to product rule we are going to have this to be what u which is ln 3x plus 2 multiplied by the derivative of your v with respect to x that's ln ln x then plus v that's ln x multiplied by the derivative of of my u with respect to x with respect to x okay so if i do that now you recall that anytime you want to differentiate the ln of any function okay the derivative of this according to the theory of differentiation or the, according to the rule of differentiation will give us what the derivative of the derivative of f divided by the function divided by your function okay so if i apply that rule here so that means i'm going to have this to be what ln 3x plus what plus 2 multiplied by if i differentiate my x here i'm going to have one divided by the function here the argument there which is what which is ordinary x i'm done differentiating lin x plus lin x multiplied by here following this rule here my f of x here is like 3x plus 2 and if i differentiate that so what am i going to have i'm going to have that to be what 3 divided by the function which is what 3x plus 2 so that means I'm going to have this to be 3x 3 lin x okay if I multiply if I use 3 to multiply this I'm going to have 3 lin x divided by what 3x plus 2 then plus lin 3x plus 2 divided by what divided by x okay so we are done with this question so let's move on to the next question in this question we asked to find the derivative of x raised to power x okay for us to do that we can rewrite this as what y to be equals to what x raised to power x raised to power x now you recall that if i have any number a any number a can be written in form of exponential that is by writing it as e raised to the power lean of what lean of a so if I apply the same principle here, so that means my y can be written as e raised to the power of ln x raised to power 
raised to power x okay which is still the same thing as what here is the power of x lin lin x okay so that means by dy dx is what d dx of e raised to the power of x lin lin x okay another thing you remember is that if i want to differentiate e raised to the power the function of x this is the same as what the derivative of x multiplied by e raised to the power the function of x so if i apply that principle here so that means this will give me what derivative of e raised to the power of x lin x is still the same thing as what derivative of x lin x okay derivative of x lin x multiplied by e raised to the power x x lin x okay so now here this is just for us to define the derivative of this we can apply what we call the product rule we are familiar with the product rule because we have the product of two different functions u and v okay where your u is what x and your v is what lin x so if you apply your product rule so that means we are going to have this to be your u multiplied by the derivative of lin x plus lin x multiplied by the derivative of your u which is your x so that means multiplied by e raised to the power of x lin x now here we are going to have this to be x multiplied by the if you differentiate lin x we are going to have this to be 1 over x you are all familiar with that because if you differentiate x it will give you 1 divided by your function x which will give us 1 over x then plus lin x multiplied by differentiate x that will give us 1 then multiply by e raised to the power x lin lin x and if we simplify this this will give us what 1 plus lin x multiplied by e raised to the power of x lin x okay which is still the same thing as what x raised to the power x so that means that the derivative of our derivative of y where our y is x raised to the power x with respect to x is what x raised to the power x multiplied by 1 plus lin x, lin x which is our final answer so let's move on to the next question in this question we asked to find the derivative of cos 2x minus 1 divided by sine 2x plus 1 of course when you look at this this is actually a rational function and for us to differentiate it we use what we call the quotient rule and you recall that suppose you have suppose you want to differentiate u over v where u is a function of x and v is also a function of x the derivative of this will give us what the denominator of v multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x minus my u multiplied by the derivative of v with respect to x all divided by what v square okay so meaning that here if we let our u to be equal to cos 2x minus 1 okay so we call this our u and we call this our v so that means our dy dx so let's suppose this is y okay let's say our y is equal to cos 2x minus 1 divided by sine 2x plus 1 all right so that means our dy dx would give us Our dy dx will be what that's what u which is also our v so using this rule so that means we have our v which is what sine so let me write it out here boldly so we have dy dx to be equal to our v so as our v our v is sine 2x plus 1 multiplied by the derivative of derivative of u which is what's cos 2x minus 1 minus our u which is what cos 2x minus 1 then multiply by the derivative of v with respect to it so what's our v that's what sine 
2x plus 1. Then everything all divided by what? All divided by v square. That's what divided by sine square 2x plus 1. And if you differentiate this, so that means we have sine 2x plus 1. If you differentiate cos 2x minus 1. Now, the differential of cos 2x minus 1 is similar to when you have, just in general, in general, if you want to differentiate cos, if you want to differentiate cos ax plus b, okay, cos ax plus b, this is still the same thing as what, minus sine ax plus b, okay? And it is even true for if you want if you want to differentiate sine ax plus b or ax minus b sine ax plus b. This will give us what this this is supposed to give us the differential of course ax plus b is what minus a sine ax plus b, and also the differential of sine ax plus b will also give us what a cos ax plus b. You can easily verify this using your chain rule. All right. So now, if you differentiate cos 2x minus 1, if you differentiate 2x minus 1, it will give us 2. So that means we are going to have this to be. That means we are going to have this to be minus 2. Okay, because the differential of 2x minus 1 is what 2. Then if you differentiate cos, if you differentiate cos, it will give us what minus minus sine. So that's why we're having minus here at the front. Then minus sine. So what's our argument here? That's 2x minus 1. Okay? Then minus cos 2x minus 1 multiplied by, if you differentiate sine 2x plus 1. Of course, first thing is that you differentiate 2x plus 1, which will give us what? Which will give us 2. Okay? Then if you differentiate sine, sine, that will give us what? Cos. That means we have this to be what? Cos. 2x plus what plus 1. I'm just applying the chain rule here, okay? Then divided by what we have added in the denominator, which is what sine square 2x plus 1. Okay? So that means that here, if you should observe well, you will notice that minus 2 is multiplying this expression and we also have minus 2. So if you bring out minus 2, so that means we are going to have this to be what? Minus 2 open brackets. So if I bring out minus 2, that means I'm going to have this to be sine 2x plus 1 multiplied by sine 2x minus 1 then plus cos 2x minus 1 multiplied by cos 2x plus 1. Alright? Then divided by what we have at the denominator, which is sine square 2x plus 1. Now, another thing you will observe here is that if you should write out, if you should expand uh, um, cos a plus b, cos a plus b will give us cos a cos b, right, minus sine sin a sine sine b, okay? Another thing is that if you expand cos a minus b, so that means this will change this, change this to be what? Change this one to be plus. So if you expand cos a minus b, it will give us cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Now, that means that here, this expression here will collapse to something like this. So if you let this to be our a, and we let this to be our what? Our b. So that means here we have cos a minus b so that means we have this to be two open brackets all the expression here is still the same thing as what is still the same thing as cos a so our a here is what our a here is 2x plus 1 minus minus b which is what 2x minus 1 okay all divided by what all divided by sine square 2x plus 1 and if we simplify this further that means we have this to be minus 2 cos 
2x plus 1 here if you expand this one this will give us minus 2x plus plus 1 so that means this will give us 2x will cancel out then i'll be left with what ordinary 2 divided by what divided by sine square 2x plus 1 so this is the final answer now the main argument here is the fact that we are having we are using cos a minus b to be equals to cos a cos b plus sine a sine b now you it is very easy for you to see that if you replace our a here to be 2x plus 1 and we replace our b here to be 2x minus 1 still same thing as a and b here you will have something like this which collapses to this all right so this is very clear so let's just move on to the next question in this question we ask to differentiate y to be equals to 1 over e raised to power 2x cos x square x now you recall that 1 over cos x square x itself is what sine square x okay so that means we have our y to be what to be sine square x all divided by what e raised to power 2x okay since you know that your 1 over cos x cos x itself is what sine sine x so that means that if i now take the inverse of sine x that will, that will give me what cosec cosec x so that is very 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 true okay so let's just continue from here so for us to differentiate it we use what we call the quotient rule all right so you recall that suppose you have u to be a function of x divided by v to be a function of x that means here i will have v multiplied by what derivative of u with respect to s minus u times the derivative of v with respect to s divided by what by v square so if i apply that principle here so that means my dy dx would be what would be v which is e raised to power 2x multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to s that's what sine square x then minus what sine square x multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to what derivative of v with respect to a with respect to s all divided by what all divided by v square so what's our v square our v square is just e raised to power 2 x all square which will give us what e raised to power 4 x so here this will give us here is the power of 4 x so it is power 4 x okay so now if you differentiate this sine 2 x or sine square x if you differentiate sine square x that will give us what that means this will give us e raised to power 2x multiplied by now the dx of sine sine square x is what now let's try it. let me teach you guys something anytime you have for example if you have x raised to power n okay you recall that there are a few steps you took before you differentiate x raised to power n first thing is that suppose we have our y to be equal to x raised to power n first thing is that you take your n here your constant here you multiply by this then another thing is that you now differentiate your x okay then you now multiply it by the derivative of you now multiply by your x raised to power n minus one okay so what i'm saying in essence is that suppose you have y to be equal to 2 x plus 3 raised to power n for me to find the derivative of y with respect to x this will give, give me what n multiplied by the derivative of 2x plus 3 all right multiply by the multiply by 2x plus 3 raised to the power of what n minus 1 all right do you get the idea okay let's continue so meaning that if i have y to be equal to sine x raised to the power 2 don't forget that sine x raised to the power 2 is the same as sine square x so that means my dy dx is what 2 multiplied by the derivative of sine x okay multiplied by sine x raised to the power sine x raised to the power 2 minus 1 so that will give us what 2 cos x sine sine x okay so that means this one will give us what this one will give us 
2 sin x cos what cos x okay then minus sine square x and if you differentiate it is to power 2x of course you need to differentiate 2x first which will give us 2 then multiply it by 2 e, that will give us 2 e raised to power what 2x okay then divided by e raised to the power of what e raised to power 4x okay so now not only that you discover that if i bring out 2 e raised to the power x and x out of course 2 e raised to power 2x and x is common so that means i'm going to have 2 e raised to power 2x sin x so what will be left inside the bracket so that will be left with what i'll be left with what cos x minus what minus sin x sin x divided by what e raised to power 4x now using your law of indices of course this will give us 2 e raised to the power 2x minus 4x will give us minus 2x then multiply by what sin x open bracket cos x minus what sin sin x okay so we are done with this so this is the, the differentiation of this function so let's move on to question 8 we are asked to differentiate we are asked to differentiate this function okay now using your idea of differentiation that means we have d dx of 4 raised to the power of sine 1 minus 2x then plus lin lin of 1 minus 2x okay so that means here we are going to have d dx of d dx of what d dx of 4 raised to the power of sine 1 minus 2x then plus what d dx of 1 lean of 1 minus 2x so lean 1 minus 2x okay now if you want to differentiate this now you will see that this is not e this is 4 okay now the trick here is that anytime you want to differentiate now let's say we have y to be equal to a raised to power x okay now anytime you want to differentiate y to be equal to this is no more e this is like a constant a constant that is different from e okay let's say you want to differentiate a raised to power function of x the idea is that i'm going to differentiate i'm going to find the derivative of this function then multiply it by the function itself that's what a raised to power f of x then now multiply it by the lean of what lean of a now this follows from the fact that even if you have your a to be e so that means that we are going to have the derivative of f of x multiply by e raised to power f of x lean e and of course you know that lean e itself is what is one so that means you have this result now what i'm saying in essence is that if i want to differentiate four so let me try to rub this piece off if i want to differentiate four raised to the power of sine x sine x sine one minus x one minus two x rather so what am i going to have i'm going to have this to be what derivative of sine 1 minus 2x okay then multiply by 4 raised to the power of sine 1 minus 2x okay then multiply by lin lin 4 okay using the uh, what i explained to you earlier you can go back to it and just to, just to quickly check and make sure you you grasp what i'm saying now here then plus of course you know how to differentiate the the lean of a function i've explained to you that earlier okay that means here we have this to be the derivative of 1 minus 2x then divided by the function that's 1 minus 2x okay that's how to differentiate lean of a function now here if you differentiate uh sine 1 minus 2x of course if you differentiate 1 minus 2x it will give you what to give us minus 2 okay now if you, if you differentiate sine x itself it will give us what cos cos x so that means this will give us cos 1 minus 2x okay i easily i just use my chain rule there okay you can verify this results using your chain rule 
then multiply by 4 raised to the power of sine 1 minus 2x then multiply by lin lin 4 okay then plus if you differentiate 1 minus 2x this will give us what minus 2 okay divided by what 1 minus 2x so that means here we are going to have this to be minus 2 cos 1 minus 2x then multiply by 4 raised to the power of sine 1 minus 2x lin 4 multiply by lin 4 then minus 2 divided by 1 minus 2x which is our final which is our final answer let's just go ahead to the next question in this question we asked to find the derivative of x raised to the power of tan tan x okay so still using the same similar approach we can easily write this as now don't forget that this is a function of x not a constant and the best way to go about this is to write this as what e raised to the power of lin x raised to the power of what tan tan x okay just recalling from the fact that if you have a number any number i can write any number to be e raised to the power in form of exponential by writing it as what e raised to the power of lin of e now if our a here is now x raised to the power tan x that means we have this what we have this result which is very clear so now we have our y to be equal to e raised to the power of now using your idea of logarithm you recall that if you have lin e raised to the power m you can write this as what m lin e this is just elementary okay so here we have this to be here is the power of what tan x multiplied by lin lin x okay so this is what i want to differentiate now i'll be able to transform the function to something i can easily differentiate now so what's my dy dx my dy dx is just what d dx of e raised to the power of tan x lin lin x okay so using your idea of differentiation or how do you differentiate e raised to the power f of x of course the first thing you do is that you differentiate this is your argument here so that means we find the derivative of tan x lin x okay then you now differentiate then you now multiply it by your your question which is what e raised to the power of tan x lin lin x okay so now the job here is, is that we need to differentiate tan x lin x with respect to x that's what we want to do here now of course what do we use we use our product rule so let's call this our u and let's call this our v so that means that my derivative of u multiplied by v with respect to x will give me what it give me of course what's our u so we can write our u first that's what tan x multiplied by the derivative of lin x with respect to x then plus lin x multiplied by what the derivative of derivative of tan tan x with respect to x multiplied by e raised to the power of tan x lin x okay so that means that this is going to give me what if you differentiate lin x that will give us 1 over x then multiply by tan x that means this will give us tan x over x then plus lin x multiply by if you differentiate tan x it will give us what sec sec square x sec square x then multiply by this will give us lin x multiply by sec square x then multiply by everything or multiply by what e raised to the power tan x lin x so that means that means that in summary that means this is going to give us what of course you know that e raised to the power tan x lin x can still be written as what x raised to the power tan x of course just go back to where we are coming from we are just trying to transform this then multiply by what tan x over x plus what plus x square x lin lin x which is our final result okay let's just move on to the next question in this question we want to differentiate 3 raised to the power psi psi x then plus x lin 1 plus 2x okay so that means our dy dx would be what 
t dx of 3 raised to the power sine x then plus t dx of x ln 1 plus 2x okay so that means that here we would have this to be if you differentiate since this is a constant 3 is a constant so that means i'm going to have this to be what d dx if i want to differentiate 3 raised to the power sine x that means i'm going to have this to be what d dx of i need to differentiate sine x first then multiply it by 3 raised to the power of what sine sine x then multiply it by the ln 3 okay since this one is not a natural logarithm this is this is a constant okay okay so that means here we are going to have this to what multiply by ln 3 now on the other side or consequently we are going to use product rule here since we have x multiplied by ln of 1 plus 2x so if we apply our product rule so that means here we are going to have this to be x multiplied by the derivative of 1 ln 1 plus 2x then plus ln 1 plus 2x multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to x so that means here if you differentiate sin x we are going to have this to be what cos x so that means we have cos x multiplied by ln 3 multiplied by 3 raised to the power sin x then plus here if you differentiate ln 1 plus 2x of course this will give us 2 over 1 plus 2x because if you differentiate 1 plus 2x this will give us 2 then 2 divided by 1 plus 2x will give us 2 over 1 plus 2x then multiplying it by x that means this will give us 2x over 1 plus 2x then plus here if you differentiate x with respect to x that will give us 1 the 1 multiply by 1 plus 1 multiply by ln 1 plus 2x will give us what ln 1 plus 2x which is our final result so let's go ahead to the next question so this is our final answer let's just go ahead to the next question in this question we are asked to find the derivative of we have y to be equal to the square root of 5x plus 3 multiplied by the square root of x then minus 4 over x okay that means that our dy dx would be what d dx of square root of 5x then plus what d dx of 3 square root of x then minus d dx of 4 over what 4 over x now here this can be written as what square root of 5 multiplied by d dx of square root of x plus what 3 multiplied by d dx of square root of x then minus 4 over of 4 multiplied by d dx of d dx of 1 over x okay now if you differentiate of course before you differentiate you can write it you can write this as d dx of x raised to power 1 over 2 okay plus 3 d dx of x raised to power 1 over 2 then minus 4 multiplied by d dx of x raised to power minus 1 okay and if you apply a power rule so that means we are going to have this to be the square root of 5 multiplied by if you differentiate this one that means we are going to have this to be 1 over 2 multiplied by x raised to the power of minus 1 over 2 then plus 3 multiplied by 1 over 2 x raised to the power of minus 1 over 2 okay then here we have this to be minus 4 open bracket minus 1 multiplied by x raised to the power of minus 2 that's using your power rule so that means here i'm going to have this to be square root of 5 over 2 that means i'm going to have this to be square root of 5 multiplied by 1 over 2 square root of x since you know that this is still the same thing as 1 over x raised to the power 1 over 2 and x raised to the power 1 over 2 is what square root of x so that means we have this result then plus 3 multiplied by 1 over 2 root 2 2 root x then plus here we have this to be what plus 
4 multiply by this is still the same thing as x raised to the power minus 2 is still the same thing as what x raised to the power what 1 over x raised to the power 2 then multiplying it by 4 will give us 4 over x raised to the power 2 and if we combine this together so that means we are going to have this to be what square root of 5 then plus 3 divided by 2 square root of what square root of x okay then plus 4 over x squared. You can actually rationalize this if you want. So let's rationalize it. That means we are going to have this to be what? Square root of 5 plus 3 over 2 multiplied by square root of x over what? x. 10 plus 4 over x squared. So in this question, we want to differentiate 1 plus x squared multiplied by 4 minus 3x to the power 4 everything raised to the power of 24 so here we have the y dx to be equals to here we are going to apply our product rule okay so that means here if we let this out to be our u and we let this to be our v so that means that we have our u that's what 1 plus x square multiplied by the derivative of what derivative of 4 minus 3x raised to the power 4 and raised to the power 24 then plus what? Plus 4 minus 3 x raised to the power 4 multiplied by the derivative of 1 plus what? Plus x squared. Okay? So that means here we have this to be what? 1 plus x squared multiplied by the derivative of this with respect to x. Of course, you know how to differentiate it. This will give us what? 24 multiplied by the derivative of. 4 minus 3 x raised to the power 4 then here we write the function and subtract 1 from the power that means we have 4 minus 3 x raised to the power 4 raised to the power of 2 3 that's 24 minus 1 will give us 23 then plus here we have this to be 4 minus 3 x raised to the power 4 multiplied by the derivative of 1 plus 2x plus x squared will give us what 2x okay so that means here we are going to have this to be 1 plus x squared multiplied by 24 multiplied by differentiate 4 minus 3 x raised to the power 4. Of course, this will give us minus 24. This will give us minus 12 x raised to, x raised to the power 3. Then multiply by 4 minus 3 x raised to the power 4 raised to the power 23. 10 plus 4 minus 3x raised to the power 4 multiplied by 2x. So that means this will give us what? 24 times minus 12 will give us what? Minus 288x raised to the power 3 multiplied by 1 plus x squared multiplied by 4 minus 3x raised to the power 4 raised to the power 23 plus 4 minus 3x raised to the power 4 raised to the power of 2x so let's move on to the next question in this question we want to find the derivative of the square root of 1 plus sin x all divided by 1 minus sin x so as usual we have here we have y to be equal to the square root of 1 plus sin x all divided by 1 minus sin x so we use our quotient rule so here we say let this be our u and let this be our what our v and according to your quotient rule your dy dx or the derivative of u the dx of u over v is what is v prime is v multiplied by what your u prime minus your u multiplied by your v prime or divided by what your v square so here we have this to be so that means our dy dx would be what v which is 1 minus sin x multiplied by your u multiplied by your u prime well that is what derivative of u which is the square root of 1 plus sin x with respect to x minus square root of 1 plus sin x multiplied by the derivative of 
1 minus sine x raised to the power of x then divided by your v squared well, that's what 1 minus sine x raised to power 2 of course if you want to differentiate d dx of the square root of 1 plus sine x okay itself is what d dx of 1 plus sine x raised to the power 1 over 2 okay so which will give us what 1 over 2 multiplied by d dx of 1 plus sine x then multiply by 1 plus sine x raised to the power minus 1 over 2 because if you subtract if you subtract 1 from this from 1 over 2 will give us minus 1 over 2 so that's how we have this to be what minus 1 over 2 so which is written as 1 over 2 then multiply by what now the derivative of 1 plus sine x with respect to x will give us what cos x then this multiply by 1 over square root of 1 plus sine x so that means this can be written as 1 minus sine x multiplied by 1 over 2 cos cos x multiplied by 1 over square root of 1 plus sine x okay then minus the square root of 1 plus sine x multiplied by if you differentiate 1 minus sine x with respect to x this will give us what minus cos minus cos x divided by what divided by what we have added in the middle which is 1 minus sine sine x all square okay now if you multiply the numerator here by because we want to clear this number this this denominator here so if you multiply the numerator here by square root of because we have two here so if you multiply it by two multiply by the square root of one plus sine x and you multiply the denominator also by two multiply by the square root of one plus sine x so what would that give us that means this will give us what of course these two here we clear this out so that means i'm going to have this to be one minus sine x open bracket one minus sine x multiply by what multiply by cos x then minus using two to multiply this that means i'm going to have this to be what two open brackets one plus sine sine x don't forget that the square root of a times square root of a will give us a so that's why i'm having this to be what one plus 2 times 1 plus sine x then multiply by what multiply by minus cos cos x all divided by 2 open brackets 1 minus sine x all square then multiply by the square root of 1 plus sine x 1 plus sine sine x so in which we give us what 1 minus sine x multiply by cos x then plus what plus 2 open bracket 1 plus sine x multiply by what cos cos x divided by what divided by 2 open bracket 1 minus sine sine x all square square root of 1 plus sine x okay so which can still be written as of course this is the final answer but we can actually still simplify this further okay so that means this will give us cos x all divided by what two open brackets because one minus cos x one minus sine x we cancel one of the one minus sine x here so i'll have two open brackets one minus sine x multiplied by the square root of one plus sine x plus of course 1 plus sine x divided by square root of 1 plus sine x you see the same thing as what it's just like when you are having a over square root of a a over square root of a you see the same thing as what root a because if you multiply the numerator by root a and you multiply the numerator also by root a this will give us what a which will cancel this out then i'll have this to be root a so that means i'm going to have this to be 
the square root of 2 square root of 1 plus sine sine x multiplied by cos x okay divided by what divided by of course this will give us um, this will give us 1 2 times of course 2 we cancel this 2 so that means this will be left out so this will not this will be, this will not be part of it then this will just give us 1 minus sine x all square okay so this divided by this will give us what would give us square root of 1 plus sine x all right then multiply by this cos x then 2 here will cancel the 2 here so that I'll be left is what 1 minus sine x all square which is this what which is this final answer so the final answer is what is this so let's move on to the next question here we have uh, y to be equals to 1 divided by 1 minus x multiplied by square root of 1 minus x cube now what I want to see is this anytime you have like your y to be equals to 1 over a function of x okay the derivative of y with respect to x will give us what negative of the derivative of of f of x with respect to x divided by what your function raised to power what raised to power two so don't forget this is just from the from the idea of chain rule okay now here if you apply that this principle here so that means my dy dx that means my dy dx would give me what would give me minus d dx of 1 minus x multiplied by square root of 1 minus x cube then divided by what divided by 1 minus x multiplied by what 1 minus x raised to power 3 then all square okay so that means this will give me what minus so if i apply the product rule here so that means i'm going to have this to be minus open brackets here we have if i'm applying product that means i'm going to have this to be one minus x multiplied by the derivative of the square root of one minus x cube then plus square root of one minus x cube then multiply by the derivative of 1 minus x with respect to, to what with respect to x okay all divided by what all divided by v square okay so if i square the denominator so that means i'm going to have this to be 1 minus x all square then multiply by 1 minus x cube okay so that means that here we cannot have this to be if i differentiate this this expression here so i'm going to have this to be 1 minus x multiplied by if i differentiate this i'm going to have this to be 1 over 2 multiplied by differentiate 1 minus 3x 1 minus x x cube that means i'm going to have this to be what minus 3x square okay then here we now have this to be what times 1 over square root of 1 minus x cube okay then plus what square root of 1 minus x cube then differentiate differentiate 1 minus x that means this will give me what minus 1 okay then divided by what divided by what about the derivative which is what 1 minus x all square then multiply by 1 minus x all what 1 minus x cube okay. now if i multiply the numerator by square root of 1 minus x cube and i also multiply the limit also by square root of 1 minus x cube the aim here is that i want to clear the radical sign under this place so that means that i'm going to have this to be minus of 1 minus x multiplied by minus 3 over 2 x square then multiply this will give us multiply by 1 because this one has already cleared itself then plus of course if you use to multiply this that, that means this will give me what one minus x cube multiplied by minus one this minus one here 
This multiplying this will give us, we remove the radical sign there, then divided by, divided by what? 1 minus x all square, then multiply by 1 minus x raised to power 3, then this is like raised to power 1, and this is like raised to power 1 over 2. 1 plus 1 over 2 will give us what? 3 over 2. Okay, so that means that's clear. And also, if I use minus to open this bracket, that means I'm going to have this to be, I'm going to have this to be 3 over 2, open brackets, 1 minus x, then multiply by what's x squared. Then, if I use minus to multiply this, that means I'm going to have this to be what's plus 1 minus x raised to the power 3, okay? Then all divided by what? All divided by 1 minus x all square. Then multiply by 1 minus x raised to the power 3 raised to the power 3 over 2. I can actually split this into 2. So that means I'm going to have this to be 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 minus x multiplied by x square divided by, okay, let me write this 3 over 2 together. I don't let that. Don't be confused with that. So that means I have the 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 minus x multiplied by x squared divided by divided by 1 minus x all square then 1 minus x cube raised to the power 3 over 2 then plus 1 minus x cube divided by 1 minus x square multiply by 1 minus x cube raised to the power 3 over 2 cube everything raised to the power 3 over 2 so which will give me what this will take care of one of these so that means I'm going to have 3 over 2 multiply by what x square over 1 minus 3 raised to the power of 1 minus x 1 minus x raised to power 3 raised to power 3 over 2 then this plus of course if you divide this with this of course don't forget that this is still like saying 1 minus x raised to power 3 then multiply by square root of 1 minus x raised to power 3 so that means this we can't so this is like saying 1 plus x raised to 1 minus x raised to power 3 1 minus x raised to power 3 then multiply by square root of 1 minus x raised to power 3 this will cancel one of these so that means I'll be left with what 1 over 1 minus x raised to power 1 minus x square then multiply by the square root of 1 minus x raised to power 3 so which is our final answer all right, so let's move on to the next question. Okay, so in this question, we have x over 10 all raised to the power of 10x. Okay, so for us to differentiate this function, so here we say let our y be equals to e raised to the power of ln x over 10 everything raised to the power of 10x. Okay, so since you know that any number e can be written as exponential form that is we have is to be e raised to the power of ln a okay so meaning that if you have your a to be this expression so we can have this to be our expression so that means we can now write this as we can now have our y to be equals to e raised to the power of of course from your law of logarithm we can bring this 10x to the other side that means we have this to be 10x ln x over 10 so here if we differentiate both sides that means if you differentiate y with respect to x it's like we are differentiating the right hand side also which is e raised to the power of 10x ln x over 10 and from the idea of differentiation anytime you are differentiating exponential function we need to differentiate the argument first then we multiply it by the the exponential function itself so that means we have this to be so we differentiate the argument. The argument here is 10x ln x over 10. 
multiply by the function itself that's what e raised to the power of 10 x lim x over 10. now if we differentiate this of course this is product rule because we are having two different functions so we need to apply our product rule because they are multiplying each other so if you apply our product rule if we call this our u and we call this our v so meaning that we have u that's 10x multiplied by differential of lin x over 10 all right then plus of course let me put this in a big bracket because everything will still multiply this function then multiply by lin x over 10 multiplied by the differential of 10x multiplied by the exponential of 10 raised to the power x 10x here is the power of 10x lin x over 10 all right so meaning that here we're going to have this to be 10x inside this bracket multiplied by if we differentiate x over 10 we are going to have this to be 1 over 10 divided by x over 10 then plus lin x over 10 then multiply by if you differentiate 10x we are going to have this to be 10 then exponential 10x lin x over 10 okay so here you know that this will take care of this one so i'll have like 1 over x multiplied by 10x this will take care of this one so i'll have this one to be 10 plus 10 lin x over 10 then multiply by e raised to the power of 10x lin x over 10 so which is still the same thing as of course if i bring out 10 10 is common so i'm going to have this to be 10 open bracket 1 plus lin x plus 10 x over 10 rather then multiply by of course this is still the same thing as our question which is x over 10 raised to the power of what 10x okay so this is our final answer so let's move on to the next question in this question we are given uh, our y to be equals to e raised to the power of 3x plus 1 all divided by cos 3x plus 1 again we apply our quotient rule so here if it lets this to be our u and let me let this to be our v so applying our quotient rule that means we have our y to be equals to that is we have the dx of e raised to the power of 3x plus 1 over cos 3x plus 1 okay so that means we have our y to be equals to cos 3x plus 1 okay that's the difference your v multiplied by the derivative of your numerator that's it is to power 3x plus 1 with respect to x minus e raised to power 3x plus 1 multiplied by the differential of the denominator which is cos what cos 3x plus 1 then everything all divided by our denominator square which is cos square 3x plus 1 okay so that means we have our y to be equal to cos 3x plus 1 multiplied by if you if we differentiate this uh as this function here we're going to have this to be of course the first thing is that we need to differentiate the argument if we differentiate 3x plus 1 we are going to have 3 multiplied by the function itself that means we have e raised to the power 3x plus x plus 1 minus e raised to the power 3x plus 1 multiplied by so if we differentiate cos 3x okay again differentiate the argument the argument here is 3x plus 1 that's we are going to have this to be 3 multiplied by if you differentiate cos that means we are going to have this to be what minus sine 3x plus 3x plus 1 okay divided all divided by what the denominator that's cos square 3x plus 1 so meaning that our y is going to be what here i have 3 multiplied by e raised to power 3x plus 1 so if i bring that out what am i going to have 
I'm going to have this to be what? Here is the power 3 x plus 1 multiplied by 3. Okay, because 3 is also here. So meaning that I'll be left with what? I'll be left with cos 3x plus 1. Then since you have minus minus here, so this will turn to plus plus what? Plus sign 3x plus 1. Okay, then all divided by what? All divided by cos 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 square 3x plus 1 all right so this is our final answer so let's move on to the next question here in this question 17 we have x square multiplied by x sine of 1 minus x again we apply our product rule so we have our dy dx to be equals to d dx of of x square x sine of what 1 minus x okay now if we apply our product rules here we are going to have this to be x square the differential of what x sine of um, 1 minus x then plus x sine of 1 minus x multiplied by the dx of x square all right so here we have this to be x square then if you differentiate x sine of 1 minus x the first thing is that since this one is not like your regular x, first thing you need to do is to differentiate what is inside. If you differentiate 1 minus x, we would have this to be what? Minus 1. Okay? And now if you differentiate x sine of x, sine of x we are going to have this to be what? 1 minus square root of 1 minus x squared. Of course, what is here? What is your argument? The argument here is 1 minus x. So you will replace that directly there. 1 minus x. Of square then plus we have this to be x sine of 1 minus x then differentiate x squared that means we have this to be 2x all right so here we have this to be 2x I'm taking this guy first or oh, it's not necessary so here we have this to be what minus x square all divided by square root of 1 minus 1 minus x or square then here we have this to be plus 2x multiplied by sine of 1 minus x. So this can be written as minus x squared all divided by the square root of 1 minus. So if we expand this, we are going to have this to be 1 minus 2x then plus x squared then plus 2x x sine of 1 minus x and here we have this to be what minus x squared all divided by the square root of so here we have 1 minus 1 which is 0 then minus times 2x here we have this to be 2x then 1 minus 1 times plus or minus times plus will give us minus then we have this to be x squared then plus 2x x sine of 1 minus x so which is our final answer so let's move on to the next question here we have x multiplied by our cos of 1 minus x again we use our product rule so here we have the y dx to be equal to d dx of this expression here our cos of 1 minus x right so here meaning we are going to have this to be our cos of 1 minus x then multiply by the derivative of x then plus x multiplied by the derivative of our cos of 1 minus x okay so here we have this to be our cos of 1 minus x multiplied by derivative of x with respect to x which is still 1 plus x multiplied by here we differentiate the arguments here so that means we have this to be minus 1 multiplied by if we differentiate our cos of x we are going to have this to be minus 1 over the square root of 1 minus 1 minus x all square because here is just the argument if you, if you differentiate 
car cost of x car cost of x is what the derivative of this will give us negative of 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared so if we replace this our x here with this particular x here so we have this result so if we multiply it out so that means we have this to be r cos of 1 minus x then minus times minus will turn to plus so that means we have this to be x over square root of 2x minus x squared okay from this result here it just follows here from here okay so we have this this result so let's move on to the next question all right so in this question we want to differentiate arctan of 2x all divided by 1 minus x squared okay so the easier way to go about this is to use our chain rule all right so here we have our y to be equals to arctan of 2x over 1 minus x squared so if we let our our u to be equals to 2x over 1 minus x squared that means that our y would be what arctan of arctan of u because we replace our 2x over 1 minus x squared with what u so meaning that if I differentiate my u with respect to x what am I going to have so of course this is the quotient rule we are going to apply the quotient rule to solve this problem so that means here we have this to be 1 minus x squared multiplied by differential of x differential of 2x with respect to with respect to x minus 2x multiplied by differential of 1 minus x squared with respect to x all divided by what we have at the denominator of squared as 1 minus x squared all squared so that means that what that means we are going to have our the u dx to be equals to what now if you differentiate 2x that means we have this to be 2 multiplied by 1 minus x squared minus 2x multiplied by if you differentiate 1 minus x squared with respect to x that means we have this to be minus 2x all divided by our denominator which is what 1 minus x squared all squared okay so if we try to expand this numerator so that means we have our du dx to be equals to 2 minus 2 x squared then plus what plus 4x 4x squared all divided by 1 minus x squared all squared okay and here we are going to have this to be if we simplify this we are going to have this to be or we can act equally write this as 2 then minus 2x squared plus 4x squared will give us plus 2 plus 2x squared all divided by 1 minus x squared all squared which is the same thing as if we factorize to that means we have this to be 2 open brackets 1 plus x squared all divided by 1 minus x squared all squared okay so we're done with that so we need to differentiate y with respect to u so that means we have our dy du our dy du to be equals to now if we differentiate arctan of u of course we are going to have that to be 1 over 1 plus u squared which can still be written as what 1 over 1 plus so what's our u if we replace our u here that means we have this to be 2x over 1 minus x square all square and now if I multiply the numerator by by 1 minus x all square so that means I'm going to multiply the numerator by 1 minus x square all square and also the denominator by 1 minus x square all square so that means I'm going to have my dy du to be equals to what the numerator would be 1 minus x squared all square all divided by now if I use this to multiply this so that means I'm going to use this to that means this will turn to 1 minus x squared all square plus 
2x all square okay don't forget that i'm already having one minus x square all square i did it in Victoria, so that means this will just cancel out so i will have these results and now if i try to um, expand the denominator so what am i going to have so i'm going to have this to be so i'm going to have my dy du to be equals to one minus x square all square all divided by 1 minus x square all square then plus 4x square okay so that means that my dy dx my dy dx is what dy du times what du dx all right so that means what's my dy du my dy du is what 1 minus x square all square all divided by 1 minus x square 1 minus x square all square then plus 4x square multiplied by du dx so what's our du dx our du dx is this result over here so which is multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 plus x x square all divided by 1 minus x square all square okay so what do you notice notice that this will take care of itself so that means i'm going to have my dy dx to be equals to 2 multiplied by 1 plus x square all divided by what we have at the denominator here here we have this to be now if i try to expand this denominator what am i going to have i'm going to have this to be 1 minus 2 x square then plus what x raised to power 4 plus this last term here which is x raised to 4 x raised to power 2 and this simplifies to 2 open brackets 1 plus x square all divided by here we see minus 2x square then plus 4x square so that means we have this to be what 1 plus 2x square plus x raised to power 4 which is still the same thing as 1 plus x raised to the power of 2 all square okay so that means this we cancel one of these so that means the final result here is what 2 over 1 plus x 1 plus x square which is our final final result. so i hope you get the idea so let's move on to the next question question 20. following the same approach here we have our y to be equals to x sine of 1 minus x square all divided by 1 plus x square so if we let our u because we want to apply chain rule if we let our u to be equals to 1 minus x square all divided by 1 plus x square that means that my y is going to be what x sine of x sine of u all right so if i differentiate my u with respect to x here i apply the quotient rule so that means i'm going to have this to be 1 plus x square multiplied by the derivative of 1 minus x square with respect to x minus 1 minus x square multiplied by the derivative of 1 plus x square with respect to x then all divided by our denominator which is 1 plus x square all square okay so if we simplify it for that so that means my du dx is going to be now if i differentiate 1 minus x square that means i'm going to have this to be what i'm going to have this to be 1 plus x square multiplied by minus 2x minus 1 minus x square multiplied by 2x okay so we have that result divided by 1 plus x square all square okay so next thing is for us to simplify this so if we expand this guy here that means we're going to have our d u dx to be equal to if we expand this so that means here we have this to be minus 2x minus 2x cube minus 2x again then plus 2x cube divided by 1 plus x square all square so here 
we have this to be if we uh take care this we take care of this that means i'm going to have this to be minus 4x all divided by 1 plus x square all square all right so also we need to also differentiate x sign of uh x sign of u okay with respect to u so if we do that that means our dy du is going to be what our dy du is going to be um we're going to have this to be one all divided by square root of because we are differentiating x sign of u that means we have this to be one divided by square root of one minus u square which is still the same thing as one over square root of one minus so what's our u our u is um one minus x square all divided by one plus x square everything all square so i need to simplify this denominator so that means i'm going to have my dy dx to be equals to one all divided by the square root of now what's the lcm of of this two expression yeah the lcm is just one plus x square all square so that means i can write this as one plus x square all square minus one minus x square all square divided by everything divided by one plus x square all square all right so this follows from the fact that if i have one plus b over a or one let me just use the word one minus b over a that plus or minus will work one minus b over a this is still the as a minus b over a okay this is clear enough in fact even if you have square a you will say i'm going to have this to be square 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 doesn't change anything this will still give us this expression so this expression here let's say you have your b to be one minus x square and you have your a to be one plus x square it's going to give us this result all right so i'm not going to use that i'm just interested in the radical sign there now let's move on here we have this to be now if you take the square root of this radical sign here since this one is having square so that means we are going to have this to be one plus x square ordinary x square because this radical sign will affect this one at the denominator and don't forget that if you have one over b divided by a this is still the same thing as what a over a over b okay so that means if you apply that principle there so that means we are going to have this to be we are going to have this to be one plus x square all divided by the square root of one plus x square one plus x all square one plus x square all square minus one minus x square all square okay now another thing we could do is for us to simplify the expression over here now we could simplify this expression over here with the help of the difference of two square okay since i'm having a square minus b square from your elementary you know that a square minus b square is the same as a plus b multiplied by a minus b all right so if i apply that principle here so what am i going to have so that means i'm going to have something nice so i'm going to have my dy dx to be equals to one plus x square all divided by square root of now if i use the difference of square over this i'm going to have this to be let's say this is my a and this is my b so that means i'm going to have this to be a plus b which is one plus x square then plus one minus x square multiplied by a minus b that means i'm going to have one plus x square minus one minus x square of course i can write this as i can just simply write this as minus one plus x square all right so i can write that to be minus one plus plus x square minus one plus x square so which simplifies to what one plus x square all divided by the square root of now you see that this will take care of it 
so i will be left with what two multiplied by this one will take care of this one i'll be left with so two multiplied by 2x squared all right so which is still the same thing as that means my dy dx is going to be what one plus x squared all divided by of course here we have the square root of four x squared which is still the same thing as one plus x squared all divided by two x okay now we are interested in finding this is actually dy du not dy dx this is dy d dy du this is dy du dy du i don't know if i've been saying dy dx but this is actually our dy du because we are depreciating y with respect to u all right so but our goal is to find dy dx and the y dx itself is what dy du times du dx so what's our dy du our dy du is just simply one plus x squared multiplied by all divided by 2x multiplied by what's our du dx our du dx here is what minus 4x all divided by 1 plus x squared all squared of course if we simplify this this is going to give us to take care of these two here that means i'm going to have two over this will cancel one of this so i'm going to have this to be what one plus x squared which is my final result so that means the differential of arc sine of x the differential of arc sine of one minus x squared all divided by one plus x squared is going to give me what minus two over one plus x squared and we are done so let's move on to the next question in this question we want to differentiate here is the power x squared multiplied by the square root of sine x then everything divided by 2x plus 1 raised to power 3 of course an easy way to do about this is to take the line of both sides so let's say we have our y to be equals to here is the power x square square root of lin x all divided by 2x plus 1 raised to power 3 so if i take the lin of both side taking the lin of both side taking the natural logarithm of both side of both sides and you can apply this method for any kind of you know anytime you have uh, compilations of different kinds of functions the best way to be about is just to take the lean of the function so if i take the lean of both sides so that means i'm going to have lean y to be equals to lean e raised to power x square multiplied by the square root of sine x all divided by 2x plus 1 raised to power 3 which can be written as what from your law if you apply your law of logarithm so i can write this as lin e raised to the power x squared plus what lin square root of sine x minus because of the division sign here so we have this to be lin 2x plus 1 raised to the power 3 so that means i'm going to have my lin y to be equals to of course here this is lin e lin e itself is what one so i'm going to have this to be what x square plus this is sine x raised to the power one over two which can still be written as one over two lin of sine x and finally we have this to be three multiplied by lin of two x plus two x plus one now if i differentiate both side with respect to x if i differentiate both side taking the derivative with respect to x taking the derivative with respect to x with respect to x so that means that now you can see that this is a function of y all right so the best way to go about this this is a function of y and i want to take the derivative with respect to x i'll just apply my chain rule okay so if i apply my chain rule that means i need to differentiate it with respect to y and now differentiate it differentiate y with respect to x multiply by the derivative of y with respect to x so that means i'm going to have the dy of lin y 
multiply by the derivative of y with respect to x so this is just chain rule here so this will give this will give me my dy dx because i'm looking for the dy dx of this okay but this is already this is a function of y it's not a function of x so that means i need to take the derivative of this function with respect to y first then now multiply by derivative of y with respect to x i hope you get the idea okay so that means we have this this to be the x square then plus 1 over 2 the dx of lin of sine x then minus 3 the dx of lin of 2x plus 1 okay now if you differentiate lin y with respect to y that means i'm going to have this to be what 1 over y multiply by dy dx to be equals to if you differentiate x squared that means i'm going to have this to be 2x plus 1 over 2 then if you differentiate sine x that means i'm going to have this to be lin because i'm differentiating logarithmic function that means i need to differentiate sine x first that means to give me cos x divided by the function itself sine x and finally i have minus 3 multiply by if i don't want to differentiate this that means i need to differentiate uh, 2x plus that means i'm going to have this to be 2 over the function that's 2x plus 1 that means that i'm going to have 1 over y multiplied by dy dx to be equals to 2x plus 1 over 2 cos over sine is cot cot, cot x then minus 6 over 2x plus 1 all right so that means that my dy dx is just what y multiplied by 2x plus 1 over 2 cot x minus what 6 over 2x plus 1 of course i can easily replace my y here my function back so my y is just my function my original function so that means i have this to be what here is to power x squared multiply by the square root of sine sine x so this is supposed to be sine sine x then all divided by what all divided by 2x plus 1 or is part 3 okay so this which is our final final result so we have this to be our final result and we are done so let's move on to the next the next question question 22 here we have our y to be equals to ln of arctan of square root of 1 minus x x squared okay to go about this we applied the chain rule so we let our u to be equals to arctan of square root of 1 minus x squared so that means our y is going to be what ln ln of u so that means if we differentiate your, our u with respect to x now if you differentiate actan of actan of x i could i could even use substitution here again so let me try to use another substitution so here i let my v be equals to square root of one minus x squared so that means that my u is going to be actan of actan of v so I need to do three things. I need to differentiate my v with respect to x. So if I differentiate that, that means I'm going to have this to be what? 1 over 2 multiplied by, of course, you are going to have this to be 1 over 2 multiplied by the derivative of what you have inside, which is, of course, if you know how to differentiate square root of square root of x, of course, you know that the square root of x itself is what? 1 over 2 over square root of x. So that means that here I'm going to have 1 over 2. Because this one is not like, this is another function again. So that means I need to differentiate what is inside the function. That means this will give me minus 2x all divided by square root of 1 minus x squared, which I'm done. And what's my dv, du dv? My du dv is what? 1 over square root of, or 1 over 1 plus what? 1 plus v squared my v square so what's my v my v is just simply um 
square root of 1 minus s square. And if I square that, that means I'm going to have this to be what? 1 minus, minus s square. Okay? So now, if I differentiate my, finally, if I differentiate my y with respect to u, that means I'm going to have this to be what? 1 over, over u, which is still simply 1 over, so what's my u? My u is just a tan of square root of 1 minus x squared. So that means that what's my dy dx? My dy dx is simply dy du times du dv times dv dx. So which is simply, what's my dy du? My dy du is simply 1 over half tan of the square root of 1 minus x squared multiply by du dv. So what's my du dv? My du dv is just simply 1 over 2 minus x squared. Then my dv dx, my dv dx is just what's minus x over square root of 1 minus x squared. And if you multiply everything together, we're going to have this to be minus x all divided by 2 minus x squared multiplied by the square root of 1 minus x squared multiplied by the actan of square root of 1 minus x squared. All right, we are done with that question. Let's just move on to the last question. In this question, we want to differentiate this, um, this bogus function. Of course, the best way to differentiate it is just to break it into two functions and differentiate each of them. So let's do that. So in this question, we have y to be equal to the arc cos of 1 minus x all divided by 1 plus x plus arc sine of the arc cos of 1 over x. Okay, so the best way to differentiate this function is to break them into two. Okay, because if we call this our, so if we call this our y1 and we call this our y2, so that means that our dy dx is going to be what dy1 dx then plus dy2 dx. So let's try to find the y1 dx. Okay, here we are saying that our y1 is what? Our y1 is half cos of 1 minus x over 1 plus x. And our y2 is half sine of 1 half cos of 1 over x. Okay, so let's try to find uh, the y1 dx. So here we have the y1 dx. So our dy1 dx is simply the dx of what? The dx of r cos of 1 minus x over 1 plus x. Okay, so that means this will give us what? Now, this is just a function of function. So you remember that if you apply your chain rule, that means we need to differentiate 1 minus x over 1 plus x first. Then we now multiply it by the differential of differential of a cos of 1 minus x over 1 plus x. Okay? So here it's just like we were different it's just like we are replacing 1 minus x over 1 plus x with let's say variable u, but I'm not going to be replacing it with variable u, I'm just going to be doing it rigorously. So here we are differentiating it, differentiating it with respect to 1 minus x over 1 plus x. So it's just like calling everything, this expression here your u, then multiplying it by your differential of your u. Alright, so that means here we're going to have this to be, so if you apply a quotient rule here, so what are we going to have? That means we're going to have this to be 1 plus x multiplied by the differential of 1 minus x plus 1 minus x, sorry, it's supposed to be minus because it's, it's, it's chain rule. So 1 minus x minus 1 minus x multiplied by the differential of 1 plus x all divided by what? All divided by uh, v square which is our uh, 1 plus x all square then multiply by one minus because this is half cos okay so we have this to be one mi minus one over 
square root of 1 minus your denominator okay sorry what you have you are your argument all square so what's our argument here our argument is just 1 minus x all square all divided by 1 plus x all square okay so it's just like when you are differentiating a cos of a cos of x this is just 1 minus 1 over square root of 1 minus x square so he, your argument here is what we have here so that's why i'm having this argument here and if we simplify this further so let's try to simplify it further so that means we're going to have this to be now here we are going to have this to be if you differentiate 1 minus x we are going to have this to be minus 1 and multiplying it by this that means we're going to have this to be minus 1 minus x then here, if you differentiate 1 plus x, we are going to have this to be 1. Then if you multiply it with this, that means we're going to have this to be minus 1 plus x. So, then divided by 1 plus x all square. And now, here, we have this to be, we have another minus at the front here. So, we have this to be minus 1 all divided by the square root of now here if you take the LCM the LCM is just 1 plus x all square so that means here we have this to be 1 plus x all square minus 1 minus x all square divided by 1 plus x all square this square root covers this square this denominator here which is simply what of course here we have minus x plus x that's zero then minus two plus minus one minus one that's what it's minus two then multiply by minus one here we have this to be two over one plus x all squared now this is square root this square root sign here we cancel the square here so that means i'm going to have this to be and this is at the denominator of this so that means it to come to the numerator that is what that means we are going to have this to be one plus x all divided by the square root of what i have inside and now again, what I'm going to have inside here is just going to be difference of difference of two square, which I'm going to have to be what? One plus x plus one minus x multiplied by one plus x minus one minus x, which is still the same thing as what? Which is still the same thing as minus one plus x. So let me just write that directly. So I'm going to have minus one plus x. So I hope you guys get what I'm doing. I'm just trying to like teach you how you can simplify things fast because there's there won't be much time in your exam so you must learn how to do things fast so let's continue here we have we are going to have this to be two open brackets one of course this will take care of this all right so i'm going to have just ordinary two at the numerator so ordinary two then divided by what i have added my denominator here so i'm going to have this to be the square root of sorry before that i'm supposed to have because this is cancelling one of this so i'm going to have one plus x multiplied by the square root of now here i'm going to have this to be two one plus one is two so i have this to be two multiplied by because this will cancel out this then here i'm going to have this to be x plus x is what two x so that means i'm going to have this to be one over one plus x multiply by the square root of multiply by the square root of now here we have two times two that's four okay square root of four this one is supposed to be two we have two here because there's two at the numerator then two times two is what four so that means we have square root of four which is what two multiplied by the square root of x and this two will cancel this two here so that means i'm going to have this to be one over one plus x multiply by square root of what x and if you rationalize the denominator that means i'm going to have this to be square root of x over x multiplied by one plus x so we're done with the first y1 differential of this y1 so that means if you differentiate this guy we're going to have this to be square root of x over x multiplied by one plus x so let's try to differentiate the uh, second function okay Let's move to the next page. Here we have our y2 to be equals to to be equals to arc sine of 
that sign of um, r cos of 1 over x okay in this case I'm going to use my chain rule because if I want to use function of function you might get confused okay so I'm just going to use chain rule here now here I can say let my u be equals to 1 over x and I let my v be equals to r cos of what that means my v is going to be what my v is going to be r cos of u okay because I'm replacing the first argument with with u in the second argument here with v then the third argument that means my y2 is just going to be arc sine of arc sine of v okay so I need to differentiate one by one so by chain rule my dy to dx is just going to be what my dy to dx is just going to be my dy to dv multiplied by dv du then multiplied by du dx so that will get me what my dy dx by chain rule now what's my du dx my du dx is what if you differentiate you with respect to x this is just 1 over x square so elementary then now what's our db by our db du our db du is just what 1 minus minus 1 over square root of 1 plus what 1 minus u square so that means i'm going to have this to be minus 1 over <coughs> over square root of 1 minus now what's my 1 over my what's my u my u is just 1 over 1 over x so that means my u square will be what's 1 over u square so which is still the same thing as what of course this is going to give me 1 over minus 1 over square root of this is x square minus 1 over x square which is what minus x over square root of x square minus 1 so i hope you get the idea because this is this square root we affect this x square here that will just give us x then if you bring it out to the numerator don't forget that i told you that if you have 1 over b over a this is still the same thing as a over b so that's why we have this okay now the next thing is for us to differentiate our y2 with respect to v so the y2 with respect to v if you differentiate your dy2 here with respect to v that means you are going to have this to be what 1 over square root of 1 minus v square okay and now which is still the same thing as what of course my dy2 with respect to v is what 1 over square root of 1 minus v square so what's my v my v is just simply a cos of what a cos of u which can still be written as minus a cos of 1 over x all square and we're done so what's now our dy2 dx that means our dy2 dx is simply dy2 dv which is what 1 over square root of 1 minus r cos of let me write it well r cos of 1 over x all square okay then multiply by my d v d u so what's my dv du my dv du is just simply my dv du is just simply minus x over square root of x square minus one then multiply by my d u dx what's my d u dx my d u dx is just simply minus one over x square so if i multiply all of them together i'm going to have this beautiful answer which is what 1 over okay let me write it 12 1 all divided by x square okay 1 divided by x square of course this will cancel this so this is just ordinary x so let me just write ordinary x so this is just ordinary x because x will cancel one of the x here so i'll have just x here so this is just x multiplied by the square root of x square minus 1 okay from here then multiply by the square root of 1 minus half cos of 1 over x all square 
So if you remember the question, the question is what we are asked to differentiate. So we want to, to differentiate this function. So that means our final results. So that means our final result. So if we differentiate this function, the dx of this function, all right, would give us what? Would give us, now if you remember, what was our result in this first function when we differentiated this function, first function? That means we have this to be dy1 dx plus dy2 dx, okay? And what's our dy1 dx? Our dy1 dx is what? Square root of x over x multiplied by 1 plus x. Then plus, what was our, what's our dy2 dx? Our dy2 dx is just what? 1 over x squared multiplied by square root of x squared minus 1 multiplied by square root of 1 minus um, arcos of 1 over x, 1 over x, then all square. So this is our final result. So this is our dy dx. Well, we've come to the end of today's tutorial questions. If you have any question, any comment, any suggestion you want us to know, you can put them in the comment section box below and also don't forget to click on the like button so that more people can get to know about this and together let us defeat this academic failure thank you